What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Hohem iSteady M6 gimbal with AI tracking. Taking a look at the specs, this has a three axis gimbal, a magnetic fill light with a built-in AI sensor, iSteady 7.0 stabilization, a built-in OLED display, a maximum payload of 400 grams and weighs 551 grams. Taking a look inside the box, everything comes inside of this nice case here. And inside this, you have the gimbal itself, a tripod attachment, a charging cable, which also has another cable in the box. So you have a regular USB-C charging cable, and then they also give you this nice coiled cable, which is to charge your phone from the gimbal as well. Last but not least, you also get a very detailed manual. So before moving on to the gimbal, one thing I love about this case is the extra space that it has. With a lot of other gimbals, they only fit in the case in a certain position, but this one actually has extra room here so you can put it back in any position. So typically when you balance your gimbal, it'll make one part stick out further than the rest. And I have two other gimbals I used before and the case is always form fitting to fit a certain size. But with this one, you can see there's more space here. So you can slide this all the way down or all the way up and it's not gonna get in the way of anything and you're still gonna be able to store it in there just like that and close it up. So in the end, this is gonna save a lot of time as I no longer have to redo everything after I take it out of the case. So I just balance it, put it in the case, next time take it out exactly as it was and it's already balanced for my phone. So taking a look at the gimbal itself, this feels like a very well-made gimbal. It's not that heavy, but it has a nice and solid premium feel to it. Coming down to the handle, you have these ridges on here, which feels like they should help with keeping a good grip as well. So taking a look at the buttons, you have your power button here at the side, as well as your charging port, which is a USB-C. Coming to the other side, you have your multi-function dial here, which can be used for roll, focus, and a few other things as well, which we'll go over shortly. Next to this, you have your A and B buttons, which is used to make very cool moving time-lapse videos. So typically with a time-lapse on your phone, it'll just stay still. But with this, it'll actually scroll from left to right to make a smooth and much more dynamic time-lapse. Coming to the front, you have your trigger here, which activates sport mode for faster tracking, recenters the gimbal, or if you click it three times, it'll also flip the phone around so you can film yourself as well. Lastly, looking at the center of the gimbal, you have your OLED information screen on top. Below that, you have your mode button, your joystick, and lastly, you have your zoom lever. And in the center of that, you have a shutter button, which can also switch your phone between photo and video mode as well. As I said earlier, this gimbal also includes a tripod that attaches to the bottom. Beside a tripod, this can also be used as an extended grip here at the bottom, or, you can also thread it here at the side to use it as a support handle as well. Another cool feature of this gimbal is its ability to quickly change from landscape to portrait mode. This simply clicks into the place you want it and just like that you can easily switch from filming a regular video on YouTube to portrait mode for your Instagram or TikTok videos. Alright, so I've been using this for a few weeks now and honestly it's been a very good gimbal. Granted I'm not doing any advanced shots, but for my uses it's been completely problem free. There is a bit of a learning curve with learning what button does what, but once you use it for a while it's all very easy to remember and use. So taking a look at the modes, this has PF or pan follow mode, PTF which is pan and tilt follow, L which is everything locked, and POV, which allows every axis to move and smoothly follows all your movements. Lastly, if you click the mode button three times, you get what they call ICP or inception mode. And this gives you a unique 360 degree spinning shot. All right, so moving on to the most unique part of this gimbal, and that's this AI light attachment we have here. Using this attachment basically gives your gimbal a unique follow me mode. This is not only gonna save people a lot of time, but also remove needing a camera operator in some situations as well. All right, so to use it, you simply connect it here on top, which has a very nice 
magnetic connection. Come to the side over here, there's a little on switch. Turn that on, and just like that, it's now ready to be used. As you can see here, it has a little sensor, and this is used to not only track you, but also read smart hand gestures as well. One awesome part of the AI sensor is no software is required. There's nothing to click or open up on your phone, but instead it's all done with visual hand gestures. All right, so I have my son here who will be demonstrating the AI features. He's only 10 and he quickly learned how to do everything. So that just goes to show how easy all of this is to use. So to make the gimbal start tracking you, you simply make the OK sign. And as you can see, the gimbal will now keep you centered in the frame and start tracking your movements. Then when you want to stop tracking, you simply put up your palm. And as you can see, once again, it'll now stop tracking you. The response time on this is also very fast as well, which is not something I initially expected. By default, the gimbal will track you in the center of the frame, but if you for some reason want to be somewhere else in the shot, you simply make a double L sign, position yourself where you would like to be, do the sign again, and as you can see, it'll now track, but with your new set position instead. Overall, this is very cool as this is going to make it a lot easier to film without help and save you time for not having to come back and mess with your phone as well. The sensor can also be placed in either direction. So if you're filming with your front camera, you can place it facing you. But if you're filming with your back camera, you simply turn it around. And like I said, it has a magnetic connection, clicks on there, and now you can use it the other way as well. It works completely independent on its own. So you could have your phone off for all you want it. And the AI tracking is still going to work on the gimbal as that's something built in the gimbal and not relying on your phone. As I said earlier, this is also a RGBW fill light. I turned it away right now because I don't want the light to blind the camera, but this button here at the side is turned it on. You simply hold this down. Once this is on, you can turn this dial up and down to higher or lower the brightness. And if you press it one more time, you can use the same dial to change the temperature as well. And as you can see here on the screen, it tells you the temperature and the brightness readings as well, which makes it very easy to get it a certain temperature or brightness that you know you like. Lastly, if you click the same button three times, it'll now switch to RGB mode. And same as before, you just turn this wheel to get the exact color you want. I think most of the time I'll be using the white tones, but having the RGB there is great to have in case you do want to achieve a certain look for your shot. One other thing I really like about this is typically when lights have a white mode and the RGB mode, the white will be very bright and then the color modes will be very washed out. But even on color, this is still a very bright light. Overall, this is definitely a great gimbal. Even though it has a built-in fill light and AI tracking features, it's still a comparable price to other similar gimbals as well. So honestly, it seems a little silly to buy a regular gimbal when you could spend about the same and get a more feature packed and smarter gimbal like this one. Beside this gimbal, I also own the Smooth 5 original and between the two, this is the one that I prefer to use. Overall, if you happen to be in the market for a new gimbal, then I would highly recommend this one here from Hohem, which again is the iSteady M6. All right, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.